So let's talk about adding and subtracting binomials. So I think the best way to start would just be with an example. So let's say I have the binomial x plus 2, and then I'm going to add the binomial 3x minus 1. How do I add these two things together? Well, if you look at this first one here, x plus 2, these brackets aren't really doing anything. There's no number here on the outside that we have to distribute in. There's nothing really fancy going on. I don't really need those brackets, so I can just write that first binomial as x plus 2. The second binomial here, I'm just adding 3x and the minus 1. So I can just put plus 3x minus 1, right? If you want to think of it like you're distributing in a positive 1 into here, you can think of it like that. But really, there's nothing going on that's fancy. You can just get rid of the brackets in this example. And from here, it's just a matter of collecting like terms, like we've practiced before. You have x plus 3x, that's going to be 4x. 2 minus 1 is going to be plus 1. And that's it. That's your answer. Now, what if we're subtracting binomials? What if we have 4x minus 3 minus 2x plus 5? Something like that. Well, the first binomial, same thing's going to happen that happened last time. It's just 4x minus 3. Right? Those brackets aren't doing much work. But for the second binomial here, because we're subtracting that entire binomial, you have to think of it like we're subtracting the 2x, and you're also subtracting the 5. So you're kind of distributing in that negative sign. So really what you have here is minus 2x minus 5. So when you get rid of those brackets, you have to make sure that that negative is being applied to both of those terms. From here, you can collect like terms just like we did before. 2, uh, 4x minus 2x is 2x. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. And you're all done. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say I have 2a plus b plus 4a minus 2b minus 7a plus 7b. So I have three binomials here. I want to add them together. So 2a plus b, again, those brackets will just go away, plus 4a minus 2b. Right, so these signs, you know, here and the positive that's here, they don't change because on the outside we just have a positive, so nothing changes here. And then for this last one, because this is a negative sign, we have to make both of these terms minus. So minus 7a, minus 7b, just like that. So now we collect like terms. I have 2a plus 4a minus 7a. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 7 is negative 1, so I'm going to have negative a, just like that. Then you have b minus 2b minus 7b. Well, b minus 2b is negative b, negative b minus 7b is going to be minus 8b. Right? 1 minus 2 minus 7, you get negative 8. And that's that. Let's do one more. Let's say I have negative negative 2a minus 3 minus 6 plus 3a plus 4a plus 1. So again, I have three binomials. So far, the first bracket that we have, the first set of, or the first binomial that we have, we've been just getting rid of the brackets. But now you have a negative on the front of that binomial. So you actually have to distribute that negative in like you would if, you know, one of these were negative as well. So negative negative 2a becomes positive 2a. Negative negative 3 becomes positive 3, or plus 3. All right. Same thing for this bracket here. You want to bring in the negative, just like that. So you get negative 6 minus 3a. And this is a positive, so those are going to stay the same. Plus 4a plus 1. All right. And then you can go ahead and collect your like terms. So 2a minus 3a plus 4a. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4 is going to be 3a. All right. Now for your constants, right, your 3 minus 6 plus 1. Well, 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So your final answer is 3a minus 2.